the practice after surgery to be prescribed opioids, but there's been a slow shift in that thinking. We continue our series on combating the opioid crisis with our partners at Intermountain Healthcare. ABC4 Saray Chin joins us now with part two. Kim and Don, Intermountain Healthcare stresses they are not anti-opioids. There is a place where they are appropriate, but they say it's not the only answer. And how do you feel? Good. Good. Acupuncture, traditional Chinese medicine used in ancient China. For over 2,000 years, long time ago. But a relatively new concept in the United States, roughly 50 years. It's, it's very commonly used for the pain problem. It sounded strange to me. But Nate Empey from Heber still gave it a shot. The acupuncture helps to relieve that pain, loosen the muscles up, and gives you some temporary relief to the pain. In the next room at the Live Well Center at Park City Hospital. So I'm doing just some more myofascial. I'm doing some focused body work. Liz Young, a licensed massage therapist, is giving Jill Seifert a medical massage. It increases the circulation in the body, which means you're getting more oxygen, nutrients, lymph through the body, and that releases tension. Safer alternatives to opioids for pain management include Tylenol and ibuprofen together, even some depression medication, ice and heat, acupuncture, chiropractic, massage therapy, mind and body therapy, and aromatherapy. We need to be willing to try these options to see how well they can work. Bridget Shears is the director of the pain management clinics at Intermountain Healthcare. She believes over-the-counter and alternative medicine are underutilized and underestimated. I think it's just that we're not familiar with them. At least when it comes to the first line of defense in combating pain. It was really uh, the Olympics, the uh, Summer Olympics in was it 1984 that uh, even sports massage kind of started giving us credibility and it started coming into like the benefits and athletes and how much they increase their performance and help with injury and rehab. Kelly Woodward is the director of the Live Well Center. He says going the natural route takes time and effort. Getting better exercise, getting better sleep, getting better nutrition uh, take some work, and you got to do that work. And the payoff, Woodward says, can be huge. They come and tell me, you know what, massage was, is working much better than that medicine you gave me. Alternative therapies can not only reduce opioids, but could prevent some surgeries, which prevents opioid use. I encourage everybody to give it a try, you know, at least once to see if it works for them. One reason these alternative therapies are underutilized is because insurance doesn't always pay for it. But some companies are slowly warming up to the idea, and sometimes it's a matter of us as patients to ask for them. There are four Live Well centers in the Intermountain Healthcare System with plans to inter implement more. Sarah Chen, ABC4 News.